Oh, Martin, you never know what you're going to get into these weeks. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, Martin, you know, with these guests coming in, every week is a surprise, Martin. It's true. You never know what you're going to get. Every weekend is a mystery. Sort of like the mystery crates that you get from, from Luke. Luke Crate. And with Luke Crate, is just as I said. You know, everybody likes a little bit, a little bit of a, the element of surprise in their lives. You can get it every month from Luke Crate. And you can do that by going and visiting Loot Crate on our site. We have, uh, we have a link there, trylootcrate.com forward slash double toasted. Again, that is trylootcrate.com forward slash double toasted. And Loot Crate, they offer you and a, a mere thirteen ninety five a month. A, a mere thirteen ninety five a month. You get a mystery crate with all the great geek gear in there, whether it be from comic books to video games. Martin, what they tell you is like, all y'all trying to spend y'all money on Comic Con, save it because they'll send you Comic Con in a box. In a box. In a box, Martin. And if you go there and try that link that we put up, type in Bridge Ten. That's Bridge Number Ten for a ten percent discount. Get the element of surprise and mystery in your life with Loot Crate. And Martin, GameFly, GameFly for all you gamers out there. GameFly has over eight thousand new releases. And they're not all just new. You got some classics, too, up in there. And they're available. Kenny Loggins at the top. Kenny Loggins up there. (laughs) (laughs) Gamefly! (laughs) Gamefly! They got 8,000 new releases. (laughs) You can rent them for Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS4, PS3, PS Vita, Wii U. Just a plain Wii. 3DS, as well as older systems. You try Gamefly. By going to GameFlyOffer.com forward slash double toasted. That is GameFlyOffer.com forward slash double toasted. And when you get over there and tell them double toasted sent you, you get 30 days for free. Oh. And you get all those things, even movies now, delivered right to your mailbox. Save you some gas right there. Now, oh, there you go. That's good right there. I didn't even have a chance to shave. They wore my ass out last they night. Did, man. Yeah, they really did, man. I'm looking like a bum and shit. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, like old gray rabbit. <laughs> that old gray rabbit. Is that a song? No. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> that old gray rabbit. But Martin, <laughs> he don't <laughs> like strippers. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> I gotta stop doing it. He's like, hey, bro, that's racism, man. I'll kill you, bro. <laughs> no, you just say that. <laughs> that's a conversation for another day, man. <laughs> But Martin, I got. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just need a minute. <laughs> I, I mean, you got to go out with this dude one night, at least one night, man. Oh my god. Oh, so I got an email here, Martin. A lot of our news is coming from emails from people and messages. Thank you for all the Facebook messages. People keep me updated on what's happening in the world. I didn't even know this was a thing until. 24 hours ago, I just started talking about this. This is an email from Ryan. And Ryan, he says, how do you feel about Ryan? Is it Lochte? Yeah. Ryan Lochte being a liar. Does it deserve all this attention? Can an incident like this really make America look bad? I mean, it's just one guy. He says, by the way, my name is Ryan, too. We just saw Make that. Make all Ryans look bad. Yeah, all Ryans are assholes. You probably won too, bitch. But, <laughs> <laughs> kill you, bro. But he says, uh, he says, love you guys. <laughs> and if you, if you don't know anything about Ryan Lochte, like I did, look, I didn't know shit about Ryan Lochte, to be honest with you. I'm not really, I've been so busy, because, you know, we have the, uh, the, the an anniversary party. Yeah, we have important stuff going Exactly. On. I don't give a fuck about the person swimming, with men winning medals and shit. You know, I, I, I didn't know anything about this dude. Uh, I knew I knew America was America was kicking ass at the Olympics, but this right to give you a little background. Ryan Stephen Lochte, Martin says he's from Austin. Is I that believe, true? I believe he is. You believe he is? You couldn't find anything that says that. Anyway, guy likes to party, likes to go out and do his thing. You know, he, he goes a little hard. And my man here, he is right behind Michael Phelps, second place as being one of the biggest uh, Olympic medalist swimmers out there, twelve-time Olympic medalist. He he was uh, in Rio. Look, man, you've heard about how these uh, these uh, these athletes are. A lot of them get there. They got the, the you know they throw parties. They all got hard bodies. Well, that's the thing, man. The the Olympics, besides being you know a, a contest of human achievement, it's also one big fuck party. Oh, it is. It is. I mean, 
the, the best bodies are there, some the most beautiful people, and they party and they fuck each other and they get fucked up. And he was coming from an official Olympic party. And you know, he, you know, he fucked something. So you think he'd be cool? You think, hey, I'm, you know, I got, got a little stress out my system? Some people are happy drunks. Some, man. Yeah, and you know, this dude, he, they stopped by a gas station. Now the story that he told is, man, it was, it was four of them. <laughs> four guys in a taxi cab pulled up, robbed us. And the crazy thing is they were dressed like cops right down to guns. They even put guns to our heads. It was the most frightening experience of my life, man. And now here's, here's the other thing. He's thinking like, oh, well, you know. Because, yeah, I, I, I believe he told his mom that story and figured probably it would just die right there. Oh, yeah. And figured it'd be gone right there. Thing is, he figured, well, you know, this ain't nothing but little raggedy ass Rio de Janeiro. Right. You know, he, he, they, they ain't got shit there. They ain't got cameras and shit. Oh, yes, they do. And they caught the whole thing. And they were like, yeah, you know, I, I, we didn't get everything. But for the most part, it looked like what you said didn't happen. But we did get your ass <laughs> fighting the door. <laughs> you know, that's, that's about what we got. And so you're asking me, does this deserve all the attention that it's getting? I would say probably so. It's a story. But this shit right here is what, what's what's shitty about it is that it's taking away attention from real gold medalists out there, people who have real achievements, people who've done real shit there. Sure, you know that 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 door is getting more attention than some people have actually done. Like some gold medal winners there. Well, I think I honestly believe that uh, that all the coverage on the athletes, the gymnasts, um, like especially the the black athletes, they, it's not taken away from their coverage at all. And Michael Phelps winning more medals than anybody else. Mm -hmm. Nobody's walk, you know, taking anything away from that. But you know, they've won. There's been a bit of a lull, and then he goes and fucks up right now. And they want to keep a story going. As long oh, yeah. as there's a story, there's people tuning into the oh, Olympics. Yeah. Oh yeah. And um, yeah, you know, being a num number two swimmer is good, but not when you got this, because it's like, oh man, it was just a drunken night. Yeah, it's a drunken night where you pissed away when you pissed on that. That that gas station, yeah, you were pissing away your endorsements right there. <clears throat> and yeah, and that's and that's the, uh, the other thing about it. They're saying, you know, he might have lost millions behind this. Oh, sh might have. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, of course, you know, he came out with an apology and everything. And it's always, nah. I'm sorry to the people of Rio de Janeiro. Now you sorry because you lost that money. Exactly. <laughs> you know, let, let's just call it for what it is because it's been you know, people been taking this shit almost personal. They're like you, re you go over there, you represent America because uh, everybody wants to hate America. America is the rich kid. Oh yeah, and 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 you hope the rich kid is going to be like a, a nice rich kid, but more than likely you you wait for them to be an asshole rich kid, and he was just came to to be the, the icon of that. Oh yeah, you know he was he he was the ugly American. They had a on Today Show on the Today Show. Al Roker was pissed about this shit. Al Roker was mad like like he got betrayed, like he was fucking this dude and found him cheating. <laughs> Al Roker was mad as hell. It was mom. He, uh, he, he left his teammates hanging while he skedaddled. He certainly right. lied about some details. No, no, he lied. That's when you know you, man, when you <laughs> use the word skedaddle. That's <laughs> like, some real shit like right there. Billy Bush is trying to, trying to soften it like, well, you know, he's certainly like, no, no. Uh -uh. No, no, he's, he's mad as hell. Don't you, he's like, don't you protect this white boy. You know, <laughs> no, he fucked up. Billy, some details? Billy, not there was some no details. robbery. He, okay, there was no robbery. There was no pullover. There was nothing. There, nobody there was no cocked gun a gun to his head. head. Hold on, just, he lied. Okay, calm down. Listen. <laughs> you know, he's like, hey, 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 all right, okay, okay, calm down. Like, you know. Man. You know, I, I would not tell a, a dude like that, the old black dude, tell him to calm down. Oh, hell yeah. Look, he's ready to knock the fuck out of him. Yeah, he's like, he's already pissed off that they wore the same shirt. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like, you already bit my style today. <laughs> he, he looking like you and Goodwin right now <laughs> from that Ben Hur review. <laughs> I was like, wow, is this a thing that's happening? <laughs> is this a trend? <laughs> is me and Lomax going to be wearing the same shirt? <laughs> but, but yeah, man, you know, people mad because, because you represent America and you, and you over there fucking up and, you, and people are already expecting that behavior from us. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing. Like, if he, just, if he had just been cool, nobody would, this wouldn't have been a big deal because they were showing, they've been showing pictures of, uh, of Ryan Lochton They've been Lucky. showing pictures of him all week, man. I've been seeing that picture up there with that white hair. And, I, and to tell you the truth, I actually thought that that was Christopher Lambert from Mortal Kombat, man. I didn't, 
I didn't even know. Y'all tell me that shit don't look the, the same right there. Well, like he just went to a salon and got you know got his shit done. I didn't even know that was a, that, that that was a different dude until recently. That's how much I didn't keep up with that shit. And when uh when you know, I was looking at the dude. The more I start to research him and start to learn about him, I was like, yeah, we we should have saw this shit coming. We should have known he was lying. He he just. He's got that look. He not. He got the look. Just a little douche, a little uh-huh, douche, uh-huh, a little uh-huh. douchery going on right yeah, there with yeah. him. He, I didn't know. He, this, I've been missing on everything. In 2014, he was on a he was uh, on a on a show, a Fox News show, where he told them, "I have a sh- I have another show coming up, a reality show. Like, what would Ryan do?" Oh, seriously. And it was nothing but a show to show. It, it, it was to to showcase his player skills, to show you how good he is at picking up women. And I love the way he's like, "Yeah, I ain't, ain't got to do shit for women." Describe yourself as a player. Describe player. Going out trying to look for a date, I don't really have to do that. It kind of, they come to me. Douche! Douchiness at his finest, man. I let the bitches come to me. <laughs> you know, that's, I was looking at this and I said, yeah, why would anybody act surprised at his behavior? True. And why would even anybody buy that lie that he was telling? <laughs> because I'm looking at a, I'm looking at this right here, and he's a guy that thinks that when you look at him, I mean, look, look, look how smug he is. And I'm not trying to hate on him because, look, I, you know, I'm, I'm an asshole too. I, I did the exact same shit he did. You know, I mean, I just have a show to brag about it on, you know. But look at, look, look how, look how smug he is. You know how we do when we call Chris up in the club with the ladies. Describe yourself as a player. Describe player. Look at that fucking look. Right. Describe player. Mm. You know, it's almost gay the way he's getting ran to describe <laughs> player. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. You know? <laughs> it's this fucking dude right here, man. You know, uh, he he's gotten away with a lot because of his looks. He's been able to char- I can guarantee you. I've been there. He's been he's been in Lomax, you you've been there. I mean, you know, you come on, you a bro. You know, this dude right here, you could you talk your way out of shit all the time. This dude, he's been able to talk, he's, he's been able to charm his way out of shit. That's what he was thinking when he came to town. He's kind of got that attitude, I can get away with anything. And plus, you know, if I ain't American, I'm in here, I'm, a, I'm someplace like Rio de Janeiro. Rio de, yeah, that's, fuck a, them. that's a piece of shit anyway. Right. You know, this motherfucker just got through watching City of God. <laughs> you know, he's like, oh, I've seen that movie. You know, the favelas and shit. Y'all killing each other, y'all violent anyway. If I say somebody stuck a gun to my head, pretty guy like me, who you think they're going to believe? Mm-hmm. Me? Oh, funky ass Rio de Janeiro. Well, Rio de Janeiro, and good for y'all, they said, fuck you, we don't take that shit. Good for them. You know, no, really? That, that's good for you, man. Good for you because they said, look, we got problems. We, 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 yes, and we admit it. But you don't come over here trying to make us look bad, trying well, to make us look worse after we've been very hospitable to you. Well, it's my understanding, like, when the incident went down, they were all on him, and I don't know if he paid or they, they just, like, let it go. Like, they, just, like, just pay for the damage that you did. And it could have died, but then he told his mom the story, and then she put it out there. Yeah, it actually, everything could have been cool. Look. This is this is this could have been such a non-story. He still could have had his endorsements. All he did was piss on a door and somehow get into a fight with it. Right. <laughs> and him, you know, and really, if he still wanted to be an asshole, I've done asshole things. I would have said, "Fuck your door," and I'll just get would have gave him some money and been along my way. You know, here, get a new fucking door. But no, he had to actually go. And here's the thing about him: he had to. <laughs> this was funny. He got swept up in his own shit. He not only he not all it started out Don't like believe the hype yeah man especially your own especially your own the thing is he started out like oh, I was victimized by Rio de Janeiro they picking on me <laughs> but he couldn't stop there the motherfucker started telling stories and this is what messed him up he had to be the hero uh, right <laughs> he had to be the he had to be the baddest motherfucker in the room and I'm gonna tell you listen to this and I'm gonna tell you how he fucked up we are coming back from the train house we got pulled over in our taxi, and these guys came out with a badge, a police badge. No lights, no nothing, just a police badge. They pulled us over, uh, they pulled out their guns, they told the other swimmers to get down on the ground. They got down on the ground. I refused. I was like, we didn't do anything wrong. I refused. You know who, who in a foreign country is gonna refuse when people have guns on them? He, did you exactly? You hear this shit? You know my friends, the other swimmers, they were bitches, man. <laughs> but not me. 
Uh, you going you gonna to have to shoot me, <laughs> officer. You're the baddest motherfucker in the room. He had to be the hero. Uh-huh. And those other swimmers, I love it how the news turned around. They, they, they said, you know what? Those other swimmers said, oh, we're going to be some bitches, huh? Oh, you can, oh, you can take a bullet. Well, good. You can take this bus. We're going to throw your ass under, too. Two of his fellow teammates who were with him during that incident now revealing what they say happened, and they are pointing the finger squarely at Lochte. <laughs> you, you, you fucked up, man. Because yep. you know they said, man, why did we have to be the cowards? <laughs> right. You know, why didn't you just say we all had solidarity and we uh-huh. stood up the swim team? Uh-huh. You know, like we the Avengers and shit. <laughs> you know, why come you? How he's, come you? He's got to be the alpha male. He got to be the alpha male. You know, these the swimmers, they were pussies, man. But me, you know, I got them. You know, I protected I, them. I fought for our rights. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> fuck you, man. <laughs> like you the like you the Tony Stark of the group. I was Iron Man and shit. Wait, when he's talking, he's got those dark shades on. It's like he's Kaiser Sose in there. Like, oh yeah, they made us get on the ground. And, yeah, and, uh, guns. Yeah. If I would have heard this, I would have known he was lying. Because it's that it's that same shit. Yeah, man, it was four of them. They came in. I stood up to them. I beat all their asses. Yeah, they, man, they took off running by the time you got here. I had I had everybody, and everybody in the behind him like, yeah, that shit happened. He was the main one talking about please, please. Even if, you know, if, if even that happened, but none of that happened. None of that happened. What happened was they came up. They said, you know, why are you doing this shit? That You know, armed guards who didn't pull anything out on him. Uh-huh. And they just said, just pay for the fucking door. And he had to get all belligerent and everything. And this, look, All that for just trying to be macho. All that for trying to say, I'm from America. You know, I, and, that, and really, that's what, makes, that's what makes me upset about that. Because, you know, people expect us. Oh, yeah. To act a fool when we go somewhere. People expect us to be the ugly Americans, as I said. That shit don't work. And somehow we think, <laughs> we all think we got the phone to the White House if we fuck up. <laughs> I mean, black people, we especially think we got it. Black people think, oh, oh shit, I'm, if I fuck up, Obama got me, man. <laughs> you know, you know, there's some place you go and you just do not fuck up. And America don't, it, it, if it's the wrong place and the people they don't want to fuck with, that's your ass. You're mm-hmm. going to be there. North Korea. We got enough problems with North Korea. You think America wants to fuck with North Korea just because some dumbass goes over there and messes with a banner? Oh, right. <laughs> a dude went over there messing with some propaganda pro- banner over there and thought, I'm going to rip this shit up and take it home as a souvenir. And then the no- no- North Korea came up and said, give us our shit back. And, by the way. Are you going to prison? You, and, or, no, what, no, or. <laughs> That's right. Give us and, our shit back. Oh, I say or. And, <laughs> and you doing 15 years hard labor. <laughs> and he's like, he like, that's all right, America got what? Hey, where, where y'all go? America. <laughs> uncle Sam. My uncle here. What's up? Again, yeah, looking Sam's like, <laughs> Again, looking like Denzel at the end of training day. Jake, I need that. Jake, I need that money. Hey, fuck all y'all. <laughs> I'm calling cases on all you Korean bitches. <laughs> they got and and then Did when America when America couldn't get them, and, uh, and I don't even think it was America. It was either it was either Britain or America. It might have been Britain, but I, when when nobody answered his call. When Captain America didn't come in with that shield to do a rescue for his ass, he cried like a bitch and apologized in earnest. And I love the way North Koreans didn't give a shit. We are Korea. For your forgiveness, please, I have made the worst mistake of my life. Total and like, yeah, you yeah, done? Uh-huh. Yeah, you done? Are, yeah, are we, you done? We, are you finished? We, we, we knew that when you did it. <laughs> yeah, don't. They ain't even looking at him. One motherfucker back there listening to his iPod. And shit. I know, I know. Somebody else is ordering lunch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah he's, they, one day right there, he's circling a menu. <laughs> yeah, this dude's drawing dicks right here. You know? <laughs> I don't give a fuck about you. Don't go. Don't go somewhere acting a fool. You know, especially if you ain't got the money to back to, to back you up. No, just don't go anywhere and act a fool. Yeah. <laughs> Easy as that. Easier. Martin, you, you, what am I saying? What am I saying? Why am I wasting words? Yeah, act like you got some sense. Because that dude, money wouldn't have made no difference in North Korea. Oh. <laughs> they, North Koreans, you don't understand. Think about North Koreans. They love to fuck with people. They love to fuck with Americans, man, and anybody else. Well, like, like you know, they, they have so many sanctions on them that they don't have food. Like, the prime minister, the, uh, King, Kim Jong-un, yeah. is telling people, you might have to eat grass for a while. <laughs> and, and seriously, that's not even like a joke. It's like, you know, yeah, yeah thanks. You know, but these sanctions they got on us, we're going to keep our war effort up. We're not going to give up on that. So it might get huh. lean where you, you got to eat grass, but, you know, do it because you're a good citizen. They love fucking with Americans so much, they hacked Seth Rogen. Ain't <laughs> <laughs> nobody give a fuck about Seth Rogen. North Korea does. <laughs> right. <laughs> Shit is stupid. It's out of control. So if you act, think an apology is going to get yeah. you out of that shit. <laughs> yeah, act like you got some sense. And, th- and th- the last thing about this that I heard is that because, you know, he's a, 
because he's a pretty boy. You know, he's a he's a guy that all girls fall over and everybody loves and shit. You know that. They, we, and look, I will tell you, I'll be I'll, I'll I'll be the first to tell you, I'm not harping on this guy. People make mistakes. I don't think he's a bad person. You know, it, come on, it, it, he, 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 he's at least a bad person. You can give him that. I don't. No, I don't. I don't know the guy. I'm not gonna say he's a bad person. I would say people make mistakes. You did yours. It, you know, you you said your apologies, whether it was earnest or not, or sincere or not, and we move on. We move on, and you know, even if it's. A matter of losing money. Money will make you think about shit. True. Every, every time you whip your dick out, you're gonna think about how that cost you some endorsements. Well, here's the thing that you ed- educated me on right here. Uh, I didn't know that this was happening. Uh, there's a girl named da- Gabby Douglas. Mm-hmm. This dude went over there and dis- you know kind of disgraced the, the the reputation of America, and then sh- people are on her ass just for standing at attention. Right. They're like, how come you, there was a, there was something where she did not put her hand over her heart right. and everybody's like, oh, she's un-American. Mm-hmm. She's, she, she's unpatriotic. Fuck that bitch, man. And it's like, you know, she was just standing at attention. She thought she was doing what she was supposed to do. And meanwhile, this motherfucker's over here kicking down doors like a fucking SWAT team and shit and y'all like it and, he oh he's just a good kid who's gone wrong uh, and it's funny what'd you say he's a ki- they say kid they call him a kid he's like thirty some years old thirty five she's twenty oh. and in her second Olympic games 35. she won gold as a team member of the gymnast right there yeah and they're talking about how this thirty two year old dude oh he's just being a kid meanwhile they're on her ass like oh you know what how could she do that how could she disrespect and rip, misrepresent America like that y'all y'all are fucked up man yeah. so I'm talking about you know we it's all in marketing. You know, this fucking dude can get away because he's the golden boy. Sure. And this chick right here, she's a scapegoat. Fuck y'all. Yeah. 20, 2016, you can just be a swimmer and you can get away with shit. Fucking that Brock Turner, the rapist. Oh, yeah. The one that oh. got off easy. He was a swimmer, oh, yeah. too. Yeah, exactly. So just be white and a swimmer and you're fine, apparently. Do whatever you want because <laughs> you're Lomax. <laughs> Lomax. Damn, we better get off this store. Lomax getting mad. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Look at the rage. I know. He's, he's actually roaring out over yeah. here. Man, it's a travesty, man. God damn. <laughs> then they killed Harambe. God damn it. <laughs> but, but Gabby Douglas, she's still going to get her endorsements. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no she th- is. Nothing's getting taken away from that. No, yeah. she's not. No, she's not. Mm-hmm. What, is, what was it about? Okay, never mind. I, I don't want to. No, 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 that's all right. That's all right. We'll let you talk about later. No, it's all right. But. That's all right. Because <laughs> <laughs> I already tell this is going to go off. To- <laughs> so, so, so what's going to happen when she joins the team? She gonna, did he, she gonna be in, tr- in charge of keeping people quiet? She gonna make us lose all our endorsements. <laughs> Have a video of her somewhere kicking down the door and pissing on us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> <laughs> no, you ain't. Uh, <laughs> she, she's from or she lived in Rio. Who knows? Yeah, who know? yeah, who knows? She saw that movie Rio. <laughs> but you ain't there. <laughs> uh, anyway. Let's move on. Is, is there they should, is many people be fucking up the Olympics, man? They need to just have a gold medal for assholery. <laughs> Assholishness. <laughs> this motherfucker had five of them by now. <laughs> He's one step behind Michael Phelps. He'd be one step behind me in that category. <laughs> hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and go over to our home, doubletoasted.com, for more videos and live streams. And remember, stay toasty.